Hi and welcome to the 16th session of Physics 9. Um, this is still under the uh, 20th book in the uh, 70, 7E based uh, self-learning module in Science 9 which I wrote for my master's degree. Ayan. So um, this session is divided into the usual three parts. Uh, just this time, all of these parts are coming from ASK. Ayan. So uh, for the first one, we'll have a discussion about elastic collision. And then for the second one, another... Uh, actually, it's not a discussion. Uh, not just a discussion, like as it is. But it's actually a problem-solving discussion. We'll be using up one sample problem. Sample problem number one for this discussion. And then your last one uh, is similar. Um, discussion din siya actually, pero hindi lang siya, you know, purely discussion. It's much like every step of the way is being clarified. Okay, so it's also problem solving. And this time we'll be using sample problem number two. And so let's begin. For the first part, um, ask discussion on elastic collision. Uh, we had that activity nung uh, basketball ball. Okay, so that activity was showing us something about an elastic collision. Now, I want you to think about that term. The basketball ball bounces back in the opposite direction where its initial velocity was going. Okay, so hindi siya nag-stuck uh, dun sa pader o kaya dun sa floor unlike, uh, unlike clay, di ba? When you're using clay, it's really pliable, napaka-mold, pwede siyang i-mold. And uh, when you say throw it uh, towards the wall, it gets stuck on the wall. But this time, not but uh, this time since it's a ball, a basketball ball, hindi siya magi-stick sa wall. It's going to bounce back in the opposite direction. Uh, Doon naman sa case ng mga coins, hitting coins uh, towards each other will result to the bouncing of each coin in an opposite direction from each other. Dun sa ball, ang gumagamit yung ang gumagana yung bola, yung wall was stationary or the floor was stationary. However, um, in this case, both coins that are uh, concerned are moving towards each other. At napansin naman natin, nung nagbagaan sila, um, after nila mag- magbagaan, they moved away from each other in an opposite direction. So, before the collision, Each of these two bodies, itong dalawang coins na to, they have momentums, okay? It's their own separate momentums. Um, they seem to have the same masses, pero they can have different velocities. So, maybe yung pagkaka-flick mo nung coin sa may bandang right mo might be stronger compared to uh, the uh, flicking of the coin towards your left because your right hand is your dominant hand. I don't know. Pero both of them, for sure, they have... Th- their own distinct momentums. So, yeah. Th- in this case, you see a green ball that has its own mass and its own velocity and moving towards uh, what seems to be a yellow ball that has its own mass, its unique mass, and its own velocity. Now, if they collide, ayan, magbabanggaan sila, what's gonna happen is uh, the uh, their masses will remain the same. So, walang magbabago. It's just M1, yan pa rin siya, at M2. However, may magbabago sa velocities nila. Okay? Kaya ang velocity ng, ano, ng first ball will become V1 prime. Okay? And then, ito naman, ang velocity naman ng pangalawang ball ha, will become V2 prime. Okay, so remember that that apostrophe right there is actually symbolizing a term called prime. In this case, it stands for the velocity of the second ball that uh, was changed after the collision. Okay, this relationship between the total initial momentum and the total final momentum of the system is being represented as the following. Okay, so, ano ba yung initial momentum? Total initial momentum ng system. Ito yung total na momentum kapag pinagsama mo yung momentum ng M1, ng, I mean, ng green at saka ng yellow ball, kapag pinagsama mo yung kanilang momentum, so you're gonna add them up, you'll get the uh, total initial momentum if it happened if those are the momentums 
before the collision. So, yung collision, yung pagbabanggan, is the actual marker ng before and after. Okay? Yung mismong collision. It's the uh, marker. It, it separates the initial from the final momentum. So, yung momentum ng mga bagay, in this case, ng mga bola, after nilang magbanggaan, is going to be the total final momentum. Okay? So, I hope that uh, we clarify that. So, let's give it a try. Another try. Again, the total initial momentum, uh, it's a total momentum, pinagsamang momentum ng uh, green and yellow ball before the collision. Tapos nung nagbagaan sila, that was the marker of the change in momentum. And gumagalaw pa sila. So, yung momentum na yun, after nung banggaan, uh, when you add them up, yung green and yellow, you'll get a total final momentum. In symbols, it is represented as M1, V1, plus M2, V2. Remember, total momentum okay, before the collision. They have their own distinct momentums. Now, the total final momentum is represented as M1, V1, prime. Okay? Um, meron na siyang bagong momentum. Hindi na siya katulad ng V1. Okay? It's not the same as V1. Maybe na may nagbago dun sa bilis nung uh, mga bola after nung pagbang, pagbangga na nila sa isa't isa. Or maybe may nagbago, may nagbago sa direction nila. Because in this uh, case, in physics, napakahalaga ng direction. Okay? Remember the number line? Yung mga numbers sa may bandang right nung zero, sa may positive um, x-axis, lahat sila positive. Okay, lahat naman ang nasa left ng zero at the point of origin ng x-axis are all negative. Okay, so may magbabago dun sa velocity, lalo na sa the velocity, kapag may nagbago rin dun sa, you know, yung direction ng momentum, such as what happened over here. Halimbawa, uh, kanina dun sa previous na slide natin, napansin mo, itong M1, papunta siya ng right. Diba? So, yung velocity niyan, we can describe it to be towards the towards the positive x-axis. So, positive yung value niyan. However, after ng collision, pabalik siya. Okay? Papunta to sa left x-axis. So, uh, what's that gonna be? It's gonna be symbolized by negative number. So, surely, may magbabago talaga sa momentum nila. Alright. So, uh, let's try out our uh, theoretical knowledge and uh, put it into practice through a discussion, problem solving, on sample problem number one. Okay. A 2 kilogram red ball is moving towards another 2 kilogram blue ball. So they have the same masses with a velocity of 2 meters per second towards the right. So this is the velocity of the red ball. The blue ball is also moving towards the red ball with the, the same velocity, 2 meters per second. But it's towards the left. Okay? Again, it's towards the left. This one's towards the right. Okay? Merong significance yan. Uh, let's visualize it. M1, the, mass, the first mass, which is 2 kilograms, has this unique velocity, V1, moving towards the right. Okay? And then V2, and N2 naman, the second mass, uh, is moving towards the left with this velocity. Okay, so, uh, they collided, and then, after the collision, the initial and final velocities of the balls changed directions. Nagpalit yung direction ng velocities nila. So, uh, ito, itong M1, papunta na siya sa left. Ito namang si M2, kaninang left, magra-right naman siya. Okay, now, um, we noted the velocities. How about the masses? The masses remain the same. Alright. Now, if the red and blue balls are now moving in an opposite direction, ano ang magiging total momentum ng system before and after the collision? What's going to be the total momentum? Okay, dalawang numbers yan. In total momentum before the collision and the total momentum after the collision. Now, what are the givens? Obviously, uh, we have the masses. Yung M1 uh, is 2 kilograms and it's moving 2 meters per second. We're putting here positive because it's moving towards the positive x-axis, to the right. Okay? 
M2 naman, it has the same kind of, ano, the same amount of mass. Uh, but it's actually moving towards the left. So, it's negative 2 meters per second. Now, uh, you may go and visit your, ano, your number line to make sense of what's happening here. Pero, again, towards the right in the number line, you see it's positive. And then towards the left, you see it's negative. Now, um, I think uh, that in your previous lessons with me, you also noted about vertical naman. Kapag pataas, that's positive. Kapag pababa, that's negative. Okay? Now, after the collision, yung velocity ng uh, M1 changed. Uh, instead of 2 meters per second, it's now negative 2 meters per second. Bakit kaya? Because it's moving towards the negative X axis. Now, V2 prime naman became positive 2 meters per second because it's now moving towards the positive x-axis. Alright? Nagat sa man ba natin ito? Anong unknown natin? Yung total momentum before and total momentum after the collision. Alright. Let's now uh, jump to it. The solution to the problem, you'll be using the following formula. So, uh, simple lang. Yung total momentum before and total momentum after ng, ng collision. So, uh, again, itong V1 at saka V2, iba yan sa V1 prime at saka V2 prime. And I think, napansin nyo kanina na pinagkaiba lang naman nila is yung symbol. Kasi, ang parang ini-imply nung problem kanina is hindi naman bumagal yung mga balls after nilang mag-collide. So, yeah. It's uh, the same number but with different symbols, right? Alright. Actually, it's the same digits but with different uh, symbols. So, they're actually different integers. Now, we substitu substitute the given factors and we'll get the following. So, M1 is 2 kilograms. V1 is 2 meters per second. And then, M2, don't forget the plus sign because uh, we're actually looking for the total momentum, initial momentum. Okay, and then this one to the total final momentum. Alright? Now, we perform the operation. So, you multiply this sa dito. Multiply this dito. And then, get their difference. Alright. Now, you perform the operations already. Uh, we'll be getting the following. So, you see, 0 total momentum before and 0 total momentum after. So, ibig sabihin, uh, since pareho sila, equivalent sila, na-conserve yung momentum. Kasi, ganito yan, ha? Kung ano yung total momentum before, dapat ganun din yung total momentum after. Okay? That's what we meant about conserving momentum. Okay? Alright. Uh, kapag mag magkaibang number yan, ibig sabihin, halimbawa, zero to. Tapos ito naging sabihin na natin na uh, 2 kilogram meters per second. Well, um, mali yun. <laughs> uh, ibig, or ibig sabihin nun is, mas tumaas ang momentum nila dito. Hindi na conserve. Saan galing yung extra momentum? Diba? Pwede pa sana kung dito yun eh. Like, before the collision, mataas yung momentum. Like, sabihin natin, 2, meet, 2, 2 kilograms meters per second. Tapos biglang naging 0 dito. Or sabihin natin, 1. Okay? Um, we can we can understand that. Maybe, um, I don't know, na, napunta yung momentum sa ibang mga bagay. Pwede yun, okay? Nawala lang siya dun sa mismong mga bola. Kung baga, nandun sa system, pero wala sa mismong mga bola. Alright! We're done with the first sample problem. Still good? Now, how about uh, we talk about uh, something na hindi gumagalaw yung isa. Okay, kanina kasi, like, dalawang bodies ang gumagalaw. What if this is like the ball hitting the floor? A red metallic ball is moving with a constant velocity of 2 meters per second towards a blue ball that is actually at rest. Now, both balls have a mass of 1.2 kilograms. Our task is to look for the total initial and total final momentum. Okay, so let's visualize it. V1, meron siyang arrow because it's moving towards the right. Okay? Positive to. Towards the positive x-axis. However, uh, you see here, M2, it doesn't have any arrow. Kasi, it doesn't have a velocity. Zero siya. Okay? Now, they, they collided. Tapos, ang nangyari, nag-stop yung red ball. 
yung blue ball naman ang nagboo and with a velocity of 2 meters per second kamukha nung red ball kanina. Okay, so uh, ano kaya ang magiging total initial at total final momentum ng system? Let's see. The givens are the following. So mass given at saka yung first velocity, yung velocity ng uh, M1. Yung mass then given and yung kanyang velocity. Again, it's 0 meters per second because it is actually at rest, okay? And this is positive because uh, it's moving towards the right. Remember? Okay. Now, V1 prime is 0 kasi after ng collision, nag-stop si M1, right? So, ganun siya. And then V2 naman, uh, it is uh, positive kasi it's still moving towards the positive x-axis. So, nung binangga ni M1, si M2, nag-stop si M1, si M2 naman nag-continue dun sa same direction kung saan papunta si M1. Parang sa billiards, if you can imagine that. Now, for the solution, we'll be, say, we'll be using the same formula. So, before, initial momentum. And then the final momentum. So then we'll be substituting the given, given factors, making sure that uh, we are putting them right where they are. At tama yung mga signs natin. Positive to, positive din ito. Perform the operations and you'll get the following. So if you multiply 1.2 by 2, you'll get 2.4 kilogram meters per second plus 0 over here. Kasi you multiply this by that, you're gonna get 0. This one too. You're gonna get zero, and then this one is 2.4. So if you're gonna be just canceling out those zeros, you'll get a fair number in both sides. Okay, so since pareho sila on both sides, that means the momentum was conserved. Okay? Alright. Now, uh, this ends the 16th session, and uh, I'm hoping that uh, you learned so much about uh, the conservation of momentum dito sa mga first sample problems natin. Okay? Because you are going to be solving your own problems uh, in the next video lesson. This is Sir CJ and I hope that I can guide you uh, through physics in the next uh, video lesson.